The models produced by Dynamic Disk Designs are highly biofidelic and really capture the behavior that we documented over the years in our laboratory. The mechanism, at least one potent mechanism, for posterior disc bulge begins with delaminating the collagen that make up the annulus through repeated and loaded spine motion. Here we see when the spine is flexed forward and squeezed, the hydraulic pressure within the nucleus is directed posteriorly through the delaminated collagen, resulting in a dynamic disc bulge. However, if you eliminate the flexion and stack the vertebra, which in an engineering sense directs the thrust line down through the middle of the disc, there is no hydraulic effort or pressure directed on the bulge. The whole disc flattens, but it does not create a focal disc bulge. So for a clinical uh, interpretation, this is akin to hip hinging and bending about the hips rather than flexing the spine. And you can see that it can be rather simple for some patients to avoid this mechanism.